Hey, Naeem. Um, just asking Bobby about this. Um, I, I think even in the short time you guys have been here, there have been some sort of crazy games with Jacksonville. It never plays out the way, you know, quote unquote, we think it's going to play out on paper. What, is, what does that tell you? Just Is it just the, the nature of division games or I don't know, is it, is it that simple? Uh, it's that simple and uh, it's that complex at the same time. Uh, truthfully, in the NFL, people don't really know the real importance of divisional games. And then on top of that, we play them a lot. So uh, the fact that it's a divisional game and then the fact that we're it's just the NFL, it's uh, you don't know what's going to happen every week and every team's good. So it doesn't matter what the record is. The fact that it's a divisional game and it's in the NFL makes it uh, a really, really hard game. And uh, you can't really take anybody lightly. And when you do, that's how you lose games. So and you lose technique, discipline, and focus. So uh, we really got to go in here and be focused and locked in for Jacksonville. I think it was, was it your rookie year when you guys had like that six to three game, I think, or something like that? Oh, no, um, six to zero in Jacksonville. Six zero, right, right, excuse me. Right. I mean, that's, that's, that's to be one of the crazier games you've played in, I, I imagine, or am I, uh, am I off with that? Oh, absolutely not. To say that uh, you're going to go into the game with Andrew Luck as your quarterback and not score a single <laughs> point is uh, very, very um, interesting. It was a really tough game, a hard fought game. Uh, and again, with these uh, with these games against Jacksonville, it seems like the defenses, they always come to play. Uh, even last, even the first game this year, we had 500 yards of total offense. I think we scored 20 points. So uh, the defenses, uh, they always, uh, they it may be bend but don't break, but the defenses always show up in these divisional games, especially against the Jaguars. Hey, Naheem, you've had a number of situations so far this season when you guys have had backs against the wall and this team has proven its resilience. A couple come to mind, Green Bay, the comeback against Cincy, of course, the Texans game as well. I think that even DeForest um, said something about that the team was built for this when you talk about that win over Cincy. How has this team kind of been ingrained to or built to be at its best with backs against the wall, like the situation you have in week 17? Uh, I mean, just uh, I think it's really first, it just comes from a mentality standpoint, uh, just not taking no for an answer. And then really, I think it's just a, a pride and dignity thing. Uh, you know, when you're growing up as a kid, you play basketball or in your favorite sport, you're counting down three, two, one, and you're shooting as a bu as a buzzer's going off. So I think uh, really it's a, uh, it's really as a, as a kid and as a player now, you grow up and you, you live for these moments. You live for playoff moments, uh, winning in, uh, backs against the wall. As an athlete, I mean, you want to win your games, but you don't want anything to come easy. You want to have to work for it and grind for it and strive for it. So I think really that's a, us having that mentality of the team and having the dog mentality and really just not taking no for an answer is uh, why we tend to like, like these moments and show up for these moments. Mike Chappell. Yeah, Naheem, it's going to be such a strange Sunday where the one o'clock games matter. How much, how much will you pay attention and how do you balance scoreboard watching, but knowing that if you don't take care of your business at 425, it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, at least for me, I won't be watching it at all. And uh, I'm not sure I'm not sure how it'll work in the stadium and things. Uh, hopefully we don't play it. But uh, I know uh, Coach Frank Reich said that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to try not to look at it and things like that. But uh, personally for me, and I think a lot of players on the team, I think we're going to uh, not worry about those games and uh, go out there and beat Jackson. But we can look at those games when it's over. It's, it's going to be over when our game starts. So hopefully we don't see much of it. But uh, those things don't really matter because all those teams can lose. And if we lose, we're not going to make the playoffs. So we got to focus on ourselves before we worry about anybody else. So ideally, you you won't you don't want to know how the one o'clock games went. Uh, I mean, me personally, no, I don't I don't really care because it doesn't matter. Will, but you will. I mean, you're you're gonna know. I pray I don't. <laughs> I really pray. <laughs> I pray they don't show any of the games, the scores, or any of that while the game's going. Uh, that true. That's just me personally speaking. Uh, I really don't care because it doesn't matter what the, how those one o'clock games go if we lose. So. Uh, we're going to go out there and try to win. Hopefully, personally for me, I'm going to make it seem like I don't know what's going on in the world, and I'm just going to focus on Jacksonville. Thanks, bud. George Bremer. Naeem, there's a lot of second guessing, you know, a lot of plays that everybody wanted back from, from Sunday. One that doesn't get talked about a lot, your 68-yard gain right before the, the end of the half inside the 10. It gets called back on a penalty. Does it feel at all at times this year, your snake bit? I think that's three or four times that you've had a really big break and, and it comes back. Uh, yeah, it's it's hard. It's disheartening for sure. Um, it's not my first go round at it in high school. I had like six punt returns called back in a year. Uh, and for me, truthfully, I'm not really going to look at it like that. Uh, glass half uh, full. I'm a half empty. I'm looking at half full. Uh, they're happening. Uh, we're putting it's penalties here and there, but the plays are still happening. So, uh, 
for me, I think when those moments come where the, that big play happens, I think it's going to make it that much sweeter. So uh, not going to really worry about the penalties. Uh, I know for sure the play happened, uh, holding or not. The play was made. It was put on film. So there's, you know, there's evidence that we can do it. And uh, obviously we wanted it to happen right then and there. But uh, I think it's just saving us for maybe, you know, this week or next week when we really need it for it to really count. And that's really what I'm going to stay optimistic for and look forward to.